Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Flynn and I am the owner and maker of Flynn Sisters Boutique. And today we are gonna be doing a tutorial on my rainbow striped Kate Spade inspired cup. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Uh, when I originally created this cup, I said I was never gonna make it again. Definitely did not wanna teach a tutorial on it. Um, but I got a lot of asks for it. And so I tried to come up with a way that would be easier for everybody. Uh, we're going to be using the Arteza paint set. So any of you guys who um, picked up that paint set a couple weeks back. Also, we're going to be using the new square cut glitters from PT Olive Glitters. I love these new square cut glitters. They're so sparkly. They're so beautiful. And of course, we're going to have links and discounts for most of the products you see in this video down in the description box. So be sure to check that out. You'll also find a link to our Facebook group, the Flynn Sisters Community Group. If you guys have questions for me, you want to connect with me, if you need some extra help, if you want to post pictures of some of the work that you've done um, from our tutorials, this is a great place for you to post your work. Uh, so definitely check that out. And I think that's about it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first step for this cup will be measuring out the segments of color. You're gonna do that by measuring the full length of the cup and divide that by the amount of colors that you want. For this tutorial today, we're only gonna be doing five color sections and that equated out to about 1.62 inches, which I already marked on my ruler. And I'm just gonna mark one set of lines every 1.62 inches along the cup. These lines are gonna act as a starting point for us when we go to mark our lines around the cup. Next, using Legos, I'm just gonna use them to steady my pencil and draw lines all the way around the cup. And you are going to have to kind of play with your Legos a bit to get the height right, but this is a great way to get those lines evenly drawn around the cup. And you could step up the height as you need it um, all the way up to the top. Um, this tip was from one of my group members, Cody Rose. She is in the Flint Sisters community group. Shout out. Thank you so much for this awesome tip. Once we got our lines drawn, we're going to start masking off sections uh, to paint our base colors. And I'm just going to mask off two sections and leave three sections exposed. And then we are going to hand paint those sections using the Arteza acrylic paints, which of course I will have linked down below. I'll also have the colors that we use today and an exclusive discount code just for you guys. So don't worry about painting these perfectly. You do want them to look nice. Um, when you, It depends on how metallic the glitter you're using is. I'm using really metallic glitters, so I don't have to have my base colors perfect. If you are using more translucent glitters, you will wanna do two coats of paint and make sure they are very even. Next, I'm just gonna remove the masked areas and then I'm going to reuse that painter's tape to mask off the sections that I've already painted. You'll want to make sure that those sections that you already painted were really dry before you moved on to this step. Uh, and then next we'll just paint in the other colors that we want for those other two sections. If you wanted to just freehand the section, you totally could. All right, after the pink and green section dried, I just pulled my tape and kind of went around and touched up any spots that got uh, might have gotten messed up. All 
All right, uh, you're gonna wanna let the paint dry for at least a half hour, and then we're gonna come back and mask off two of the sections and leave three of them exposed. And then we're gonna start on our glitter. All right, next I'm just gonna apply my glitter using the epoxy method. And I'm only gonna apply epoxy and glitter to one section at a time. And we're only gonna do these three sections first. Um, I'm really just dipping my finger into the epoxy and barely leaving any on there. You want a very, very thin coat of epoxy when you're doing this. Alternatively, if you guys wanted to use Mod Podge, you totally could. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just really not a fan of Mod Podge, um, and anytime I can avoid it, I will. So I know a lot of people will probably watch this and think this is the hard way, um, but I personally, to me, it's just easier, and it will enable me to get uh, one coat coverage no matter what. And then we're just moving on into the second section and doing it just like we did the first section. And I'm kind of moving down the cup from top to bottom, which is gonna help with uh, like contamination. You don't wanna get one color into the other since this epoxy is still wet while you're moving between sections. So that's why you wanna work from the top of the cup to the bottom and just be really careful when you're sprinkling that you don't sprinkle one color into the other. All right, and moving on into the bottom section, I'm not gonna glitter the very bottom of this cup because I'm gonna finish it off differently than I normally would, which I will show you later on in the tutorial. Um, and again, we're just doing the third section exactly like we've done the first two. All right, after we've glittered all of our sections, I'm just gonna remove the tape right away and then we are gonna let this sit for at least two to three hours before moving on into the next step. After my glitter has dried for about two to three hours, I spray seal it with a clear gloss spray sealer. And then I'm just gonna mask off the three glittered sections using painter's tape. Um, and once you've got these three sections totally masked off, you're just going to glitter the pink and green section in the same exact way that you did the others.
All right, once I'm done glittering, I'm gonna remove my tape right away. I'm gonna let my glitter dry for at least two to three hours, and then I'm gonna spray seal it really, really super well with some clear gloss spray sealer. I did about three coats of spray sealer on this um, after it was dry. All right, after my glitter is dry, I'm gonna go in and epoxy my cup for the first layer of epoxy. Notice I'm starting with a lighter color first, and I'm going to do this all the way around the cup. Um, I'm just gonna work section by section, color by color, so that I'm not dragging any loose bits of color into the wrong color section. We did seal this really well, so there's a very small chance that I would move any of the glitter around anyway, but I would just rather kind of take my time applying the first coat of epoxy like this just to be safe than sorry. Okay, so after this layer of epoxy has been curing for about four to six hours, I go in immediately with a second coat. Um, you're gonna wanna let that second coat dry for at least eight to 12 hours before moving on into your sanding. I've gone over sanding before in a few of my videos, um, so I'm not gonna go too far into detail, but mainly you're gonna wanna sand around the rim sand any kind of rough spots that you may feel around the cup. Also keep in mind you do not want to start sanding over glitter until you have at least two layers of epoxy because you do run the risk of sanding the color off the glitter if you sand down too far. After you finish sanding your cup, you're gonna wanna wash it off with some dish soap and water, get it really dry. And then what I did was masked off the bottom of my cup and wrapped it with saran wrap and then spray painted the bottom this pretty kind of maroon color. Um, just removing the tape and then I am going to apply some marble printed vinyl onto the bottom. I just cut this circle of vinyl with my Cricut in the same shape and size as the bottom of this cup. And I think it finishes off the bottom really nicely and it's super easy and simple to do it this way. Next, I'm gonna apply the vinyl strips along each section of color. These are just uh, rectangles that I cut in Cricut Design Space. You guys have seen me do this many times before. I just cut a rectangle in Design Space that is 11.5 inches by 0.20 inches. And 
I just run it along the middle of each color section using the line of the glitter as a guide. You just kind of want to pull it tight but not too tight and run it along that edge. After you have it placed how you want, you'll go through with your X-Acto knife and just trim off at the seam there. So you'll kind of see where the vinyl overlaps and you'll just kind of cut it right along there. And it makes a really nice seam. There you see there. And you're just gonna repeat that for each section along the whole cup. You'll wanna make sure that you start on the same side of the cup each time so that only one side of the cup will have that seam from the lines. All right, after we got all the vinyl lines on the cup, I went ahead and put a coat of Counterculture DIY Quick Coat, which is just a water-based urethane sealer, and it's gonna help keep those vinyl lines from bubbling up underneath the epoxy. I also put a thin layer of epoxy on before I went in to put my decal. That's so you wouldn't see the texture from the lines uh, through the decal that we're putting over it. You're also going to notice that for this particular decal, I did two layers of white. Um, that's just because you could see the colored glitter through this um, white or cal vinyl. If you guys have some kind of workaround for this, let me know in the comments. Um, that's just kind of how I had to do it. <laughs> Okay, so once we got that decal on there, I just went into my final layers of epoxy and we were done. This particular cup took me about two layers of epoxy to fully finish it, and that was that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. We do upload every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon.
If you love this video, you could check out our last video here. Also, be sure to find us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and of course, subscribe for all our new videos that come out every Wednesday and Saturday. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon.